Hey buddies, Potato McWhiskey here and welcome back to Let's Play Civilization 6 in Gathering Storm as the Hungarian Empire. Okay. So we've got a bit of work to do to uh, punch through the Ottomans. Now, <clears throat> if we take a moment here, we can see that the Ottomans are one of the highest tech people in the game. Um, and we have caught up significantly. So if we can take out the Ottomans, we'll be on good track to win the game. Because they currently are, again, one of the highest decks in the game. That means we're going to get a lot out of killing them. We have a lot that we need to do. Uh, Pike. So these are going to redirect to the west. Fastest way is to go south. Siege Tower. We'll go to the next turn. So we need to be a little bit careful about... Oh, no. It's an unfortunate drought in uh, in Pest. Uh, nothing we can really do about it. Alright, so... You have the plus one move. You can go here. You can go there, and then you can shoot this and do major damage for the walls. You have a promotion available. You don't need to do the promotion. I just want to get damage in. I want to try and lower the city's health. Um, I could go ahead and pick up a pillage on one of these tiles in a turn. Take him out. Could you pop forward and pillage? You can pillage that next turn. Bring the Quirisir up. Bring you forward. You forward. Need you to move that way. Great general there as well. Providing as many units with that bonus. Bring this bombard. Bring this bombard. Now I do have the faith to purchase units. And we will purchase more bombards. Because that, that is the thing that's holding us back. It might be also worth it for me to purchase a bunch of units to get started on taking out Samaria. But I do have a friendship with him. So I can't actually declare war on him. And I don't want to get an uh, alliance with him because I want to be able to take him out. So we're going to head over here. We have the harbor. I'd like to get an encampment to build more units. Commercial hub wouldn't be bad either. I'm going to slap down the commercial hub. The gold will mean quite a bit in maintaining and sustaining my army. And... Go get that online. You're getting this lighter online. Uh, we have a holy site in here. Let's do an analysis of this. This city does not have amazing production. It could, though, uh, with a little bit of retooling of this land. So it definitely wants to go ahead and get an encampment for me. And we will put it right there. Um, with a little bit of uh, worker time, we should be able to turn this into a good city. You go there, you go there. You're going to take a moment to heal up, as are you. These other units can start making their way, however. And I think we're going to focus on these two cities first. Uh, I want to attack, but it's not worth it. There's a frigate shooting you. That is... The unfortunate. Lumber mill there. Not much we can do about this drought. We could build an aqueduct to try to prevent future droughts. We will go ahead and do that. Um, builder. Let's see. You could head down here and help develop these lands. I'll take a moment to heal up on you guys, and then we'll get you guys moving out to assist. Uh, not really much point in hitting this city. Okay, there's a Swordsman and a Barbary Corsair. We have a couple of pillages available. Right, there's Mercantilism. Let's plug in the Gold and Faith policy. We are using Monarchy. It could be worth it for me to get a... Uh, could have been worth it for me to get Reformed Church so that I could um, 
get even cheaper faith purchases, and I think I will pick that up. Okay, we've got a bombard in position. Let's shoot there. Let's make sure we do damage. Sort him out. Siege tower this way. You pillage there for health. I'd love to bring this Querseer in, but he'd take a lot of damage from that pike and shot, so I'm gonna play it a little safer. You cross the river, shoot the city, you swing over here, you jump forward, shoot there, you come forward, shoot there. Bring the siege tower forward, let's put you here, finish that unit off. We completed the market in here. Let's get the trader for more income. Let's get you to heal up, although there are farms I could pillage, so maybe we'll do that instead. I could attack here again, but I'm not going to. You wait there, you wait there. More bombards coming. So we need to take these cities pretty simultaneously, although I might be able to get away with just taking this city. And again, this is just more open terrain compared to attacking from this direction. It's all mountains here, I don't have to attack through here. It's just easier to attack down the southern area, because this is where my army already is. Uh, Alright, another bombard. Can't quite afford that. We can get even more niter though. And some more horses. Let's lock these good tiles in. The city could use a granary. The city could use an aqueduct. It could use housing in general. Is that... A farm on horses? That is odd. I don't think I've ever seen that. So, Leventa and Mexico are mine. There is a bombard here. I'd like to wait until they have a couple of units before I really start doing that sort of stuff. Okay. <clears throat> Tempted to do a bunch of chopping in here. Probably would be worth putting Magnus in here, but it's fine. Uh, in fact, in Quadukuza. Just gonna cube some builders. So I want to kill this. There's another Janissary over here. Let's take out this wall. Take out the Janissary. Move you forward. Shoot the city. You come in and pillage that. So we can do a lot of damage to this city next turn. We don't need that there. We can get this battering ram moved forward. Uh, let's bring a second bombard this way, one bombard this way, another bombard this way. Almost have enough nighter to purchase more bombards, and we do want a lot of those. So that we can get highly upgraded artillery, which are going to be our main... Again, um... I may as well upgrade you so you have an extra movement. Repair that tile. We keep moving this way. Okay, the Hazar is ready. Keep on moving. Remove that. Uh... Improve this. Let's have a look. What tiles are you working? You got a four pop. Soon to be five pop if I improve this. And then I put a farm triangle in here. Yeah, that looks okay to me. All right, builder. Oh, I should have built a farm there. It's all it's all the one. We're taking a bit of quadrium damage, that's okay. 
All right, so we've got a knight here. Um, you've taken severe damage, so you're going to back up. You're going to move in here. I'd love to cross the river and shoot. And then I can bring you in here. So you could make it over here. What if I were to pillage this for health? Pillage this for health. Swap these. You shoot there. You shoot there. You shoot there. You shoot there. Still not safe to hit this city. Once you cross and get your pillage on. We got our trader over here. And again, we want to trade with Antioch for the gold. So that we can always be able to purchase those uh, levies. In terms of what this city wants to work on. It could definitely use a few tile improvements. Um, for sure there could be maybe more mines in here. Um, so slowly get a builder in here. Granary. Need lots of builders to improve my territory. Unfortunately, my, my land just isn't very good. It's really not worth it to attack here. I like, I really love how my neighbors um, have been completely quiet all day. And then it's like, I'm like, all right, I'm all right. Nobody's making any noise for a very long time. I'm going to go ahead and record. And then instantaneously, all I can hear in the background outside my window is screeching. Children screeching. It is the YouTuber's curse, my dudes. All right, let's go ahead and go here. I don't, I, I, I'll be able to hopefully edit it out so you guys can't hear it so much, but... Is it too much to ask for? Just a bit of peace and quiet on the weekend so I can record some videos. Like, really? Like, there's construction going on every day of the week. You guys just can't, just can't have a quiet day. I see. It's okay. I understand. Go ahead and get you to heal up. Uh, unit needs orders here. We want to improve that. Refuse deal. Wow, that unit died quick. Where did these guys come from? The three great elements of modern... Whatever, we'll plug this in. Let's make faith purchasing even cheaper. Cost me 235 for a bombard. Let's form a secondary army around here. Uh, field cannon. Field cannon. Field cannon. Triple field cannons might be able to start, you know, making some work over here. Okay, you're going to go here. AI seems to be just obsessed with making range units. Nationalism, go. Uh, military Academy for sure. Go into that late game production. Wars of Religion. Okay, so that we can produce more units. The reason we want to purchase Bombards is because there's no production bonuses towards Siege units outside of playing the Ottomans. To start doing damage to this city a little quicker. There we go. 
So big problems and loyalty with the city. Uh, let's go ahead and assign Victor to this city. So minus 15. Most of that is going to be the fact that there's a lot of other cities around. Uh, some of it's going to be grievances. So uh, yeah, loyalty in here is going to be tough. But we need to keep this city as much as we can. Too bad uh, having allied city-states doesn't provide you with loyalty. That would be quite nice. Have you built anything else yet? Not yet. You've got a single catapult. Okay. These aren't really going to be much more use for very long. Hey, I wanted more. I wanted more of these. I wanted all the builders ever. You're going to go help make these farms happen. Uh, go ahead and steal money from me. Even if it's just a little bit of money every few turns, it's... It's valuable income. Bront. There's a gentle eruption. Okay, it's fine. Hopefully. Things worked out just fine for me. Let's get these guys moving. Now... I need to kill this frigate, and my best move is probably to get a bombard inside of the city. Since they don't take a damage penalty to attacking those. So here's another city that I will need to reassign Reyna to. Hopefully we need to stabilize the loyalty in here. Minus 18. So we need to start killing more cities very quickly in succession here. To uh, do a diddy, diddy dum, diddy do. Kind of want to pillage that for culture to get nationalism a little quicker. My bombards. My bombards probably best used to encroach on Halap here. Have the Jebel Barkal as well. Jump into this de nice defensive terrain. I actually kind of want that ability to pillage more effectively. I don't know why it tells me that you can shoot this. You could go there. But that would not work. Let's take the garrison promotion. I want to do more damage to cities now. You move this way. I think I'll move you here. Do this. Battering ram. Heal up. You're healing as well. We've got a new one of these. Keep the city. Go ahead and build up your ability to produce units. Put that there. Don't want to go into that forward tile just yet. Let's get you to fall back to a healing spot. You guys heal up. Battering ram move. You wait there. You come up. You can move. I guess you're healed up enough to join the front line. I want to put a farm there, but in order to do that, I need civil engineering. So we're going to wait uh, with this guy's build charge. Harvest that. Let's get chopping, boys. Need to get the city developed into the ability to produce units for me at a high rate. And that requires chopping the land and putting down a bunch of mines. So I'm pretty sure the city didn't have walls a minute ago, but I could be wrong. Big ol' volcanic eruption over there. Probably killed some of my trade routes. 
Alrighty, um, so we have got a uh, failed cannon problem. You don't have the movement to pop up onto this hill. Alright, let's just get some of these units out of here. Can you take care of this? Is this a hill, or what the hell is with the yield on this tile? Why is this like... one twos? I don't understand. Why are these one twos? Get on the hill, you need to heal. Chris here, go there. Pillage. Pillage, want to get nationalism quicker. You come around on the flanks. You're absolutely dead. Oops. If it wasn't, if it wasn't for this, you'd be fine. Go ahead and pillage. Just rip their empire to shreds. We need more units to follow up here. Uh, Bombards, just a constant supply of bombards, because we can deal with their units pretty easily. Most of the time, but the uh, the cities posed a real threat. There you go, nice little farm triangle in here, providing some good benefits to the city, meaning it can keep on growing. All right, so you guys might be useful one day. Little farm triangle in here will make sure the city can actually produce and work the mines that it's going to have. Nice mine tile there. A farm triangle on these three hills would be good for this city. Provide the food that we need to work the other mines. Alrighty. Alright, thankfully he survived. We're taking a lot of damage though. Go ahead and take your crew weapons promotion. Can we get us around here? That's enough to take that city for now. I don't know why you opted for that weird route. Rizzle? Gonna make me double attack. Alright. You need to back off. Doing a little few chunks of damage here. We got another field can at the he head off this way. See if we can't take out some of this stuff. Uh... In addition to that field cannon, I would like to maybe get a black army or two because it's actually cheaper to upgrade uh, for me right now. So if I build these lower tech units and then upgrade into the higher tech units, I think that works out pretty well here. All right, I got another bombard. I want to send this one up this way. Uh, all right, so this city needs to be developed for it to be useful. Let's get a builder. Granary, the city needs to just sit and do a lot of internal work. Stuff like a granary water mill. 
a few builders. All right. So let's have a look around at this city. Let's have a look at its land quality. What can it do? Uh, it's got a few mines. It's got a decent number of chops. It's got okay farmland. I kind of wish this wasn't here, but it is providing me with nice benefits in terms of a little bit of extra faith. Um, we have a holy site. We have a harbor. What if we were to build, get a decent one of these, get one of these, one of these. Probably the best one is the theater square there, but I don't want the theater square. I want the encampment so I can produce units more effectively. So we'll place that down and you are just going to also need more builders. No promotion on you, so we'll spend some time healing. You are going to be a backup unit for this direction. Battering ram here. Can do a decent amount of damage, but our units are a little bit weak right now. Okay, okay, okay. You're coming. Make your way down that way. So in terms of builder time, I think we want to start extracting some of this stuff. We put a farm there. The city officially has good growth tiles now. Which should, in theory, allow it to work all of these mines that we will be building later. Uh, this one's going to be a farm. I'm waiting for the other tech. I need to remember that. In fact, I'm going to put a pin there so I don't forget. Pin, farm, oh god. The map tax mod has been updated. <laughs> I wasn't ready. This is, in my opinion, this is too much. Um, this is too much. I might actually delete this mod off now. This is way too much. I, the only one I ever needed was this. I placed this. And then I typed the name of the wonder I want. I don't, I don't need these. I, this is so far and beyond necessary. Like, even some of this stuff here was maybe a bit unnecessary. But this is super gone too far. Now, I think I'm going to look for maybe a more simplified map tech mod. It's a shame too, because it's a good mod, but sometimes they just go like beyond the necessary and then they stop being relevant to me. It's a little bit too much, so let me know if you know a better uh, better map tech mod. Sometimes too much is too much. Simplicity is key. Like, I don't know, like seriously, what, um, what does, like, here, here, all right, whatever, right. What does this pin... Okay. God damn it. What does this pin... Like... Like, if I want to... Right, if I want to place a pin for the oracle, I click on it, I click this, I type in oracle, okay? If I want to do it this way, I have to be like, alright, shit, where's the oracle? Um, is that the oracle? Nope. Alright, where's the oracle? It's in here somewhere! Oh, there it is. Like... Which one of these is more helpful? Like, this one. It's way easier to use this. This this is overkill, in my opinion. It's completely unnecessary. Uh, bah, 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 grand armies. So we're going to want to start combining units together. Now, what I'm really curious about... So you actually can't combine levied units. So what if you shoot, and then you eat that bombard, nom 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 nom, then you shoot, then you shoot, you make sure that city can't heal, you pop up onto the hill and shoot, liberates in two turns, that's fine. pillaging all this stuff <clears throat> I 
Progress is being made. I love this Native American singing music, by the way. Some people don't really like it, but I think it's awesome. It actually kind of inspired me to listen to more of it, and now in my free time I'll even listen to, like, Native American drum drumming and singing groups and stuff like that. A lot of fun. Give it a, don't knock it till you try it. Why? Windows Defender. I've literally never used you. Why do you need to make these annoying noises at me? Um, so what the hell do I do with this city? There's already so many production tiles. And they're all over here. I think there's definitely room for an industrial zone right here. One, two, three of those. Uh, but for sure you need more builders. I can't even see what shot you, which is annoying. Chop. Chop. Farms go here. Mines go here. You can see. These farms will make up for all the mines that we're working and it'll turn this city into a production powerhouse. Uh, I'd like to attack there, but it's not really a viable move. Similar sorts of stories over here. Although I might move the Great General forward so that he affects the Hazar. We've got our pikemen. You can keep moving that way. We've got a cuirassier. Should have moved onto the road. Oh well. Uh, this city could use a couple of build charges. You've got a spare one that you can share. All right, nice. Refuse deal. So we're building up a little bit of infrastructure. I need to be building more units. Really, the only thing I care about are encampments. Because they let me produce units more uh, cost-effectively. We're taking some damage. I wasn't expecting this guy. I wasn't expecting this. So if I move you here, shoot there. Move you here, shoot there. Move you here, shoot there. Move you here, move you here, move you here, shoot there, shoot there, attack, kill. Fantastic. The annoying thing is... So, can somebody explain to me why this this unit moved, okay? I, I clicked on this unit and I pressed A. I clicked on them, I hovered here and I pressed A, but for some reason the unit moved, which is not what I wanted it to do. Okay, sometimes, like you guys say, you guys say, like, people who watch, sometimes you say things like, why did you do this, why did you do that? Well, you know what, man, sometimes the game is dumb. <laughs> sometimes the game is dumb and it does things that make no sense. That's my excuse. Let's combine these together. Now all my units are distracted over here. It's fine. We have overwhelming force for now. We do need more units. Uh, creates a cavalry. So this applies to industrial and modern area units. I don't really have any industrial units quite yet. Um, as far as I know. And a couple of Hazars of field cannons. So I guess that's fine. But this guy still already applies to industrial units. Sorry, what I meant to say is, I don't have any modern area units, but I will soon. Uh, where is that great general? So can I have some knowledge of what's like shooting me here, please? It's probably this city is right there, but for some reason, I can't see it. Um... You know what? You just keep making those uh, anti-cavalry units. Just go for it, dude. Okay, 13 production. Can't really build anything efficiently here, but we do have a spare, spare builder. Something to be said for that. <sighs> a 
Go get those crabs online. All right, we have the harbor that's giving us a trade route and some gold. It might be okay to get an industrial zone here. Turn this into a slightly better production city. You put the mine there. You get that mine up. You're waiting for the ability to place farms. You're going to put a mine there. Give the city a tile worth working. Unlock. Unlock. You head this way. You're waiting for the ability to place farms on hills. You're chopping. You're moving this way. God, I'd love to actually kill these cities. My units just aren't quite strong enough. They are eating into the Ottomans' advantage. So, you know, actually getting a, a, an army capable of attacking here is a lot harder than it looks. More field cannons, I guess. A great general will help over here. We don't need one down here. Oh, out of the fog. Ironclads. My favorite. Yeah. Let's pull you back to here. Shoot that guy. All right, Hazar. It's time to shine. What's over here? There's Istanbul. Oh, and he actually built a river valley for me, too. Now's the time to take those promotions. Retake the city, it loses a bunch of pop again, makes it even harder to keep it. Bada bing, bada boom, appoint a new governor, bum bum bum. We'll never even finish the monument, we've got to hold it for two turns, it's never going to happen. It's kind of a dumb system. In my opinion. The system itself isn't dumb, the implementation leads to dumb outcomes. So now we need to turn our eye on Istanbul. So we'll bring you up here and then take the volley promotion. I think there should be, like when you capture a city, I think there should be a minimum number of turns. Like when a city goes like liberated or whatever, there's like a minimum number of turns. Usually, Like the city usually takes about 10 turns to flip when it goes into a free city. Um... And I think whether or not the city spawns like swordsmen or musketmen or whatever should be dependent on whether or not the city actually has access to those resources. Not just whether or not the owner of the city has access to those resources and or units. So in the interest of doing this, even if it means I might lose a unit, even if it means I might lose a unit, we're going to slam into the city to reduce the number of shots we're taking. Uh, I think that's just good. Good arithmetic. So now we're in position to take Istanbul. And that's an important, this is an important city to take because this is where a lot of the loyalty pressure is coming from. There is some coming from up here. I don't know why I even bother. I don't know why I bother with some of these units. Trade with Ur. Harvest this. I might do a farm quadrangle up here, actually. It holds some appeal to me. Dun 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 dun. Okay. Waiting another four turns. You go there. And you want to trade with Antioch for the extra gold. Coming this way. Drop a fish farm there. Fishing boat. Oh. So he wants peace now. Mm, no peace. This city is still healing, even though, like, I also think it's really dumb that, like, a single piece of lake tile will prevent a city 
from being um, considered uh, under siege. It's like some of the dumbest shit I've ever seen. It is what it is. I really need to get a bombard down this direction. This might be a premature attack. But we can use it as an opportunity to thin out the herd of enemy units. You're taking I think you're taking too much damage now. On the other hand. All right, we liberated Vilnius. That should help the loyalty pressure in here a very, very tiny amount. Um, but the liberation train is ongoing. It did take us, you know, quite a few minutes to take another city. Again, we're, we're kind of... What we're doing is we're basically grinding down the AI. And um, we're going up against arguably the most technologically advanced enemy in the game. Uh, right now, he's the second most technologically advanced because we've actually killed some of his cities. But that's just going to mean, like... We don't have, like, if we were going against someone like Sumeria right now, like, look at these defense strands, we would absolutely wipe out Sumeria. But my army was over here. And if we can actually take out the Ottomans, then we'll snowball to the point where the game will be over uh, very, 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 very quickly. But as you can see, we're making slow and steady progress. And uh, yeah, I'll call that the end of this episode. I want to thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying this series so far. Please remember to subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. Remember to leave a like if you want to directly support my channel. And remember to leave a comment if you want to give me your feedback. Other than that, I want to say I love you all very much and I'll see you next time. Don't forget, I will be live streaming on uh, twitch.tv forward slash potato book whiskey starting from tomorrow, which is Monday the 4th. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to stream this last week, but we have an ongoing stream game that we're working on. So tune in tomorrow. I love you all very much, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.